All right, it's time for a new Lego City update. So, anything from here to here, well, right here, has not been modified. So, it's just this chunk we're working on today. So, this will include kind of my own mock. But, in order for me to show you all of the details, I need to put this on the ground. Alright, so I got this bad boy down here on the ground. These two green base plates containing the Lego Store mock. Townhouse or town hall mock plus the toy store and townhouse and the gas station. So last time our sidewalk was just to here. So I added a bunch of two by two tiles that go along with the rest of the sidewalk except for sets that have the dark bluish gray tiles. So that that ideally maybe one day you can have all these dark bluish gray tiles, but not today. So we've got all these beautiful two by two tiles that we can use. And that's what we did all the way. And I'm gonna say the best part for last. You have to skip that. And we're gonna go straight to the parking garage. So currently, uh, I don't know if I did this right, but I have four vehicles that fit in that parking garage, which I'll show you in a second. And then this would be the parking meter you would pay. So here are the new vehicles. All right, there the four vehicles are. You got an electric car that only has one person, but is extremely wide. So eight studs or seven studs for this bad boy, six for this, and motorcycle or sorry, monster truck because it's a monster truck. It has to be parked over the line. So I did six studs for it, even though it's probably more better suited for an eight like that. So get that guy in there, and then we have the motorcycle from the Monkey Kid Poly Bag. Squeeze them right in there. So we've got our four vehicles lined up like so. I do not think that I'll want a parking lot um, when I have something else to build. Simply put, parking lot takes up a lot of space that could be used for buildings. Think about this. Is this taking up maybe 40 studs? Well, 30 studs at least just from here to all the way over here. And that could be used for something else. So, and this is... This chunk right here is all the room I have left on the ground to build. I mean, I can build up, but this is all the ground I have left. So I'm not going to use it on just four vehicles. That could be used in around my city to make it look like a better city. Now, for the best part, this was what I was most excited about. An add-on to the 301 pet store, uh, um, not pet store, toy store mock. You ready? All right, so you've got some sidewalk there, and you come in, you see this arch right here. You see some beautiful lush greens right here, along with some flowers, and it's a green door. I've got to be honest with you, this is really sad. So I'm grateful that I did get one of these doors in my bulk bag, but I have run out of doors Ugh. so now we'll have to see what happens but maybe we'll have to pick up pick a brick order somewhat something so you come in you had to make sure you position the uh i guess that's coral though it could be literally anything else i'm not sure uh it, i have to position the coral so that it's in a way where it doesn't block the door so you'll come on in and you've got these beautiful white stairs and then because I can't go the other go through it, we'll go over it. And so imagine you walk through those lovely stairs with the beautiful window to give you natural light. I would not want to go there in the dark though, honest. So let me turn this around real quick. Alright, there you go. So the way I designed it is I used a lot of tiles and bricks, as you can see on the sides. I mostly used gray, white, black, oh, not no black, no black, and then these mo um, these modified tiles right here. Um, and then I used these tiles, as you can see here, to make it look in conjunction with these. I did not have any two by two, two by one brown tiles. I thought I had a couple one by fours. So if I had that one by two tile, I could make it a little bit more cohesive, but we're not, we don't have those pieces yet. 
And then, um, it's over the, uh, if you can see that on the side, it's over two studs here and one stud, I believe, here. And so, I'm fine with that. I actually think it gives it a better presentation. It just, it's extremely sturdy. So, that's not something that I'm actually worried about. And then on the top over here, I'll continue this theme of tiles um, that to make it even with this building. Um, and then you, it's only connected in the entire thing just by this one. So it's not really connected too much, but it gives it good stability regardless. Um, and so why did I, why did I build this? So first of all, there's no stairs to get up there. And I thought that wasn't very practical. So, and I'm not a fan of, I, I, I like stuff in my town being practical. Um, and so these three in one, they're great, but oftentimes they're missing a side and they don't have stairs. And so I was like, I can fix that with a quick fix, even though it wasn't quick. It was, well, it's an hour, I don't know. So uh, we built that. That looks amazing, in my opinion. Please tell me what you think of that. Um, and what else I should be working on? What, what else do you think my town really needs at the moment? As you can see, these guys already ran off, but we'll need to fix that and uh yeah we'll see where what i build next i'm only able to work on mocks right now i can't do any reviews for a little bit but when i do keep an eye out for those because they'll be sick all right see you later make sure you comment and like and hit subscribe